Pottsville is celebrating a special birthday. The free public library building is turning 100 years old. While the building hasn't changed much on the outside, Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey shows us the modernization inside. West Market Street in downtown Pottsville is home to the Pottsville Free Public Library. This year, the building is turning 100 years old, giving the library board a lot to celebrate. Mary Hawk from Pottsville says she's been going to the library for as long as she can remember. I grew up with the library. I'm not as old as the library, but I grew up coming here as a child, and I think it helped to instill my love of reading. Mary and her husband regularly brought their children to the Pottsville Free Public Library, but the kids are all grown now, so the Hawks dedicate their time to keep the library alive for their grandchildren. As is the case in most cities, that is the way you, your cities survive, is that your youth take advantage of what's here, stay here, and continue to grow their families here. To get more people coming to the library, Executive Director Jean Tal is showing everyone that the library has more to offer than books and magazines. It hosts free programs every week for all ages. There's something here for everyone, be it a program, be it a service, be it a book, be it a magazine, something, there's something for everyone. And the board of the Pottsville Free Public Library has invested to keep the building's 1920s look intact, yet modernizing its resources to fit the Pottsville community needs. To have a building still being used for what it was originally designed is, in my opinion, a big deal. Now, there are many buildings that are 100 years old, but not many are still being used for what they were originally built. The fact that we are stressing the importance of the library and that it has lasted all these years also shows you the importance of this magnificent building and the importance of reading. To celebrate the building turning 100 years old, the Pottsville Free Public Library will be hosting its own celebration from 6 to 9 p.m. this Saturday. If you would like to find tickets, you can find more information on our website, WNEP.com. Claire Alfrey, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.